East Coast LQ Views. Today, we're reviewing another beer by Long Live Beer Works. This is their Clone Defect. It is a 6% alcohol by volume IPA, hopped with Enigma and Nelson Sauvin hops. It says naturally unfiltered, may contain sediment. Long Live Beer Works are brewed in Providence, Rhode Island. On the bottom, it's got a date code that says 6-7-2023, Clone Defect. Time of this recording is 7 1 2023, so less than a month old. So, pretty fresh can here. Uh, as you can see, the can's kind of sweating. It's a little warm in this room. I got my Restyle Craft Master IPA glass that I've really been enjoying. Actually, I think this is just a regular Craft Master glass. There is an IPA one that is a little bit different in style. Uh, but yeah, I've been really liking this. Let's crack it open. Go for the pour. Uh, 1650 for a four pack. And I saw that it had Nelson Sauvin in it, so that kind of sold me there. Let's, uh, yeah, let's pour it up. It's a good looking New England IPA, I will say. Hazy, hey, hold up to light. Hazy, uh, kind of going towards straw color in appearance, but still kind of golden orange as well. Super hazy, pretty much no clarity through the beer at all. Kind of poured it light, so it's only produced about a finger white head on top. Uh, kind of creamy, frothy looking head though, tight knit bubbles on the side. Holding some good retention. Yeah, solid, let's go for the nose. I get a lot of bubble gum. It's almost like juicy fruit bubble gum, white grape, pineapple, some hop resin in there, strawberry. This is a very fruity, juicy New England IPA on the nose. A little bit of breadiness. Yeah, it smells phenomenal. Just one of your super sweet forward aromas a little bit of a um, little bit of citrus let's say mandarin mandarin orange a little bit of grapefruit in there yeah it smells really good let's dive in try it out cheers guys Super creamy mouthfeel. Uh, it's got a great uh, mouthfeel for 6% ABV. It's drinking uh, almost as full as something that you would get out of like a double. Again, I get that berry going towards strawberry, white grape, um, gummy candy on the finish. Pineapple, more tangerine on the palate. Tangerine grapefruit kind of has that tangerine, uh, tangelo, tangelo aspect to it. A little bit of hop resin on the back end. Seems to be kind of covered up by the sweetness. Um, finish lingers for a short time. Then you're just left with that sweetness, that juicy tropical flavor. So there's a little bit of hop resin, but like I said, kind of covered up by the sweetness if you're a um, Nelson Sauvin fan and you like that white grape um, like juicy fruity finish I think you would really like this um, also the Enigma hops I believe I've had a few Enigma hop beers that were very fruity and tropical and just juicy and flavorful juice bomb juice bomb New England IPA um, carbonation is definitely a little bit on the lighter side of medium, but it has more of a mouthfeel to it. Me personally, I like a good balance of uh, mouthfeel and carbonation. Typically, I tend to enjoy beers that have medium to high carbonation as far as like my New England's, um, but I do like a good balance of both. It's a really, really solid beer. 6% ABV, of course not noticeable, very drinkable. Um, 
slightly on the filling side as far as New England IPAs. Uh, it's pretty warm. It's about uh, getting towards 80 degrees. Um, so I could see this kind of, uh, this beer becoming a little filling after like, let's say two. Um, I wouldn't go crushing like four of these. Maybe drink like one or two, move on to like a lighter style beer. Uh, but yeah, it's a solid product for sure. Very good. Um, long lives beers. If you like that super hop saturated juice bomb, New England IPA, long live beer works typically doesn't disappoint. I've had some triples I wasn't like super fond of, um, but their IPAs, double IPAs, and even their pale ales are very hop saturated. So if you like that, um, awesome creamy mouthfeel, tons of oats and wheat in their beers. Definitely check them out, try them out. As far as the rating, it lived up to the hype with the Nelson Solvent, me personally. I, I think that uh, I've had some Nelson Solvent beers and this is one that I would um, remember for sure when it comes to Nelson Hop, Nelson Solvent Hop beers. So I'm gonna go 94, 94 out of 100 for this. Like I said, I recommend it. If you can get along with Beer Works, try them out yourself. Also, um, the 94 is going towards that price. 16.50 for a four pack is a great price, especially nowadays with craft beer for something this super hop saturated, drinkable juice bomb. Yeah, 94 out of 100. Like I said, I'm gonna recommend it. And if there's anything else you guys like to see on my channel, make sure to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Like beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.